HEC kids and families and welcome. We have some special guests with us today. Charlie has his bird friends over here. This is Azul and Popcorn. Yes. He's an albino. Yep. He's really curious. We tried it, putting it on mom and, she, and they chewed all over. Yeah, the I'm not a big fan of the birds on me, but they're okay from a distance, right? Well, anyway, we are continuing our journey toward Easter, right? We're in the middle of Lent, and so um, let's get started. So every week, like I said, we are journeying toward Easter, and I have some additional things you can do as a family. So one of the things that I hope you will get this week is the next family devotion right here. And the fun thing, Edith is my pro microphone maker. Hi. Nice to meet you. So, this week during your, your family devotion, you can make your own microphone with anything you have at your house. So, Edith just used paper and some tin foil, thank you, to make her microphone. And so, I have some directions in the packet for you. Why in the world would I have a microphone directions in the packet? We're going to find out, and you will too. So, this week we're going to do some interviewing. You kids, Take some time, make a microphone, and interview your parents. There's some great questions in the packet that you can ask your, par yes, ask your parents. And it's all about treasure. Now, we've been talking about treasure. Treasure, God, what God sees as treasure. It's different from what the world sees, right? So just like this treasure chest behind, this, behind me, we usually think of gold and things. But we're talking about God's kingdom. It's so real, invisible things are real. And God teaches us about that. And um, you'll find that in the story found in Matthew 19, where Jesus talks to a young man who wants to know what will bring him eternal life. And so Jesus, of course, loves him, sees right to the heart of him, and wants him to be whole as a person, not just fill his life with things. So dive into that and ask your parents some good questions. And the microphone is just plain fun. So have fun with it, right? It adds a lot. So there's the microphone. Um, another suggestion I have for you, and we started this, um, and you can use your calendar, right? So we have a calendar here, and we're counting down to Easter. Do you all know? And I don't know if they know, do you know how many days there are that until Easter when we start Lent and had Ash Wednesday, which we talked about that, right? How many days between um, Ash Wednesday and Easter, that whole Lent? Do you know how many days? 40. Well done, 40 days. So another thing you can do, and we're, we're out well on our way, but you can count the days down till Easter and make a prayer chain, not just a paper chain, a prayer chain. So. Um, on each piece of paper, we wrote down a person or thing or something that we can pray together as a family. So we started that out and we'll count down the days. Every day we'll take a, a chain, paper chain off a ring and we'll pray together for that person or thing um, together. So all of these wonderful ideas that you can do as a family, dive in, and the very last thing I want to mention is this coming Sunday we are going to be <laughs> we're going to be looking at Luke chapter 9 Luke chapter 9 um, I think it's verse 11 10 somewhere in there and it's talking about um, wait Mason what is it Luke chapter 9 thank you 10 through 17 see it's nice to have a guy you know behind the camera helping me out so um, we're going to be looking at Jesus feeding the 5,000. I'm really excited to look at that with you this Sunday. Um, and you can find that in your storybook Bible, and you can act it out with anything you have at home. So take time to read it as a family and bring some props as you tell the story. Maybe even bring some little crackers for the, the bread um, and you can act it out how Jesus he took the bread and he broke it, he blessed it, he broke it, and he fed thousands of people from five loaves of bread and two fish. 
wow, the kingdom of God is amazing. And remember, God's story, we're part of that story. It's our story too. So ask some good questions um, of each other, pray together, and I look forward to seeing you all on Sunday morning where we can sing together. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye.